it's important to offer students a variety of assessment strategies, uh, and not just a variety, but a, a high number of them. Lots of small stakes assessments rather than just a couple of high stakes assessments. Uh, students are very good at modifying their behavior if you give them uh, legitimate and authentic feedback on the mistakes that they've made. It's also important, I think, to provide uh, objective rubrics so that students know in advance of the assignment what's expected of them and on what criterion they will be graded. So uh, those two principles, when you can join them, lots of low stakes assessments, each of which has a predefined rubric that students know in advance, uh, I think you're going to find that students will comply with the expectations of the course much better. You should assess everything that you assign. Uh, assignments that are not graded and are not assessed are probably not done, <laughs> uh, or at least not done very thoughtfully. So design your course with assessments that are relevant to the material, that are also relevant to the students. Make them think about in a critical fashion uh, rather than just simply supply objective responses to multiple choice questions. Uh, I always think that writing is a, is a very effective way to help students learn, uh, allowing them to engage in discourse with one another and assessing the quality, not just the quantity of the discourse, which is why you know, counting discussion posts in a, in a discussion forum isn't a very good assessment. But if you provide feedback on the quality of the post and if you have some definite criteria in mind of what a quality discussion post is, then students uh, will learn much better. So one of the most effective techniques I have found is to tell students that every discussion post needs to teach something new that has not been taught previously and that they should introduce each discussion post with a statement of, of their main point so that we have an advanced organizer as we read their discussion post, we know what it is we're reading. and It helps us to categorize and learn that content. It's a lot of work. Uh, a lot of assessments means a lot of feedback and a lot of grading. Uh, the use of rubrics makes that more efficient, but uh, it's very simple to design a course where you have a midterm and a final, two high stakes exams. Uh, the teacher doesn't have to do much grading or much feedback, but that's not a very effective way to, uh, to design a learning activity.